Off new events, no racing, just rain at the TT. Rain on and off. It's all very serious. I don't race in the rain anymore. We're in the paddock. We're in the paddock. I'm trying to think of what to do. I've had loads of breakfasts. I've got me my, uh, my uh, HP sauce. Keep it with me at all times, just in case of emergencies. Is anybody listening? Nobody's bothered to listen to me. I could be rambling on all day. There's zero people watching. What day is it? It's Friday. Friday at what time? Quarter past two. Everybody's just had their lunch. Oh, eight people. Hello, Andreas and Nakimus. Nakinus. Hello, mate. How are you? 16 people watching at the TT. There's no racing. They keep delaying it because of the crappy weather. I'm here with uh, uh, RevComp's team and we have to drag Jason along as well because he get his sulks otherwise. I try and get him to eat all the breakfast before I get to him because it keeps me thin. Oh, here they are. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello, Revets. Hey. Here hey, lovely Revets. They're all here. Now we got the, Elaine, the tech, tech genius. <laughs> oh, she's there. hiding. You no. got to give us some results. Give me some results. No. Just look in there and say what's happening. Who won? <laughs> Who won? The, Donny Todd. Donny Todd. David Todd. Donny Todd. Who is yeah. not here at the minute? No, you're waiting for his uh, signature. I am. How many signatures have you got? Not. Got two. Oh, she was a marshal as well, wasn't she? Yeah, was a marshal. Yeah, marshal. <laughs> Did you stop any races? Did you um, uh, give the kiss of life to anybody? No, save but I any did lives? get my yellow flag out. Uh, <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> she yeah. got a yellow flag out. I missed that. Whoever misses. What's this here? Se Seb from <laughs> Belgium. Hey. X, X A S A S. He says he's a language teacher in the army, but I don't believe him. He's a bloody fighter. Uh, one moment. Let's let's just turn the turn it around the right way instead of. One second now. Bear with me. Fifty-three people watching. Technical. Where's it gone? Tech guy, please. Yeah, Robo, yeah, yeah. the tech guy. Yeah. Where's it gone? I don't know. What have you done? Oh, ah, there it is. I've got it. Oh, that. Yeah. Well, you're you're fired. I found it. What's that done? <laughs> yeah, Voice the wrong one. one. Your, your fingers are too big. You've got on. fat I'll fingers. Do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. you got fat fingers. Don't talk to me about fat fingers. So. <laughs> here we go. go. Yes, here right. we are. Right. 52 people watching. Loads of people just drifting around because we haven't got any racing. So what should we do? Let's, let's go and look at something. Where's the tech guy's gone? Oh, here they are. No, we got. Where's the lane gone? She's hidden. That's Ash. He's in charge of what? Are you in charge of Ash? Security. Yeah, <laughs> security. <laughs> he looks a punchy bugger as well, doesn't he? We got security there. We got X S A S A S. Oh, it shouldn't show your face, should I? I've said too much. He's gonna have to put that knife away. He's gonna kill me. And there's. That uh, was <laughs> a good. Jace. Jace the pus. Podgy pus. Jace. <laughs> look at those hoodies. We're gonna have to. Let's have a look. Look at those. We're gonna raffle a few of them. Everybody love those. Very bright and cheerful. It's my idea to put the luminous. All right, it was Jason's idea. All right, all right. All right, let's look at something technical. What we got here? Is this David Todd's? M1000. M1000. Oh, wow, look at that. What did he just win on the 600s? Uh, no, super soft. Oh, was it? That was the one. First win at TT. Michael Dunlop's done. He's broke his uncle's record. 27 wins. Unbelievable. Let's look along here. Somebody tell me where to go. Honda. <laughs> uh, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Kettle, how you doing? We just had a cup of tea. How you doing? All right, everybody happy? 49 people. Um, what have we got to look at? Oh, look at these nice spikes in here. We went to Kregna Bar yesterday. That was crazy. I'll, I'll post some pictures and videos. Looking good, Pete. Well, well done, Matt. Thank you. Stuart Hutchins, fingers crossed, hoodie. Uh, saw some Revets on the ferry. Going to send them some hoodies. They were nice people. Actually, I saw a guy last night coming out of the pub. About they're making me go to the pub, but I'm, they're drinking too much. The people I'm with, we got Neil from Motorbike Transporter. He's on about 15 pints a night. I'm struggling to keep up with him, but this guy just jumped out and said, "Hello, Pete. Love what you're doing. Love the competitions." And he pulled his shirt up, and he had a. I thought he was going to have a Rev Comps uh, tattoo, but he just had the uh, circuit tattoo of the Honor Man TT on his chest. It was amazing, like midnight, half past 12, there's people having tattoos done, just laying on these beds, all drunk. 40 people. I've got a thing of something interesting to say. It's going, it's getting lower and lower. Peter Hickman's in there somewhere. He was earlier on. There he is there. Too busy talking at the moment. Not a lot happening. They keep delaying and delaying. Honda. Do do. Anybody want to ask me any questions? Gary Wilson, hello. How you doing, mate? Um... Don't ask me anything technical. What was I saying about uh, Craig Nabar? We were there. That was very good. They come past your feet at um, a light. How fast were they going at Craig Nabar as they came past? We were sat on the 
203 miles per hour. You just made that up to make it sound exciting. I did. Yeah, how much? About 150, 160? Yeah, what do you think? 150, 160. 150, incredible, about two feet away from you. In fact, um, nearly took your boots off. Yeah, Peter Hickman, he was going past us close on purpose, wasn't he? Just yeah. to scare people. Oi, oi, Pete. The Larry Gray. Hello, Larry. Um, if anybody's in the paddock, if they see us walking around, come over and Robbo, Robbo will buy you a pint. Yeah. <laughs> York, ice cream. Yorkshire lad, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah, Keep your wallet to yourself, yeah, son. Yeah, I took no, that away. Aye. Um, what else is happening? Then we went to, where did we go where they were doing 200? We did Selby Straits. Straight. Straight. Yeah. Selby Straits. That was unbelievable. Went in the church there, had fantastic um, bacon baps in brown rolls, homemade by the Women's Institute in the church. I got Lovely. stuck at the other side of the track. You did? Oh, oh yeah. I was what? the wrong side. And then you stood next to a guy, and what happened? Oh, yeah. His mate, yeah, tell him. Yeah, I was chatting to someone, and it turned out that his mate had won the Relentless Suzuki yeah. GSX. And we bought the Relentless from you. Yeah, Incredible. You What's the chances of that, yeah, Christ yeah, sake? Yeah, it was good. It's ridiculous. And he was well chuffed with it. Yeah. Happy bloke, happy bloke. Good. Um, Rain's coming down feet. 39 people, it's getting rainier and rainier. Mm. I feel as though I've got to do something over here. I'll try and do some lives whilst we're watching the racing, but my battery was flat because I forgot to take the extra charger with me and the battery pack, and Christ knows what. So much to think about. I do my best. Gutted I missed the TT grump. this year as my daughter gave birth to my new grandson. Well done, David Hollingworth. Oh, yeah, he won a motorhome. And he's over here. Comes every year, I think, with his family. Um, hope the... Your granddaughter's doing okay. What did you call her, David? Nice one, Pete. Danny White. Um, right, I've charged my phone up properly, so when the racing does start, it's not going to start today because it's raining yet again. Oh, and then we went out for a ride yesterday, me, Derek, and Robbo. Yeah, good ride. Uh, unfortunately, it started raining. Hang on, I'm just giving the story about Derek falling off. <laughs> I was falling, Derek. He fell off slowly, but he's now in hospital. We dropped him to A&E with possibly, well, he's not moving his arm. He's got rib pain and this and that. I saw him bounce down the road and end up in a ditch on his old 600, CBR 600. But he's okay. It was all sort of slow motion and about 30 odd mile an hour, but it was in the wet. Um, so that was a bit of a bummer. He's in a... It did. We're waiting for recovery. Absolute, we got soaked. Actually, so we'll turn it around it. We're on the top of the island of wherever it was. Oh, seeing all the rain come in and we're thinking we're missing that but then after Gary from Motorbike Transport who's borrowed my van he came over after about an hour picked a bike up and then it hammered down and we got bloody soaked I, uh, I tucked in behind a wall like that yeah. trying to get out of it couldn't see anything uh, yeah. but uh, all not, good fun not the best so hopefully if it does dry out we can go for a thrash again it's a beautiful island it's a lovely place if only the weather was better but this is the first year last time I came a couple of years ago it was beautiful every day no racing time for drinking yeah, we did that last night. Neil from Motorbike Transporter. <laughs> hey, how many times have I said Neil from Motorbike Transporter? That's good, adverts, bloody good advertising, yeah. that is. Um, where's the rest of them gone? I mean, oh, are they they're behind here. us? No, they're there, in front right. of us. Um, so don't forget, any revheads that are here, give us a shout. There's only 37 people watching, so we're safe. We won't have to buy any drinks. Only joking. That's good. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's about it. Not a lot else is happening. But as soon as it does, I'll be there with the news. Two days late of Michael Dunlop beating his uncle's record of 27 wins. Um, ask me some questions. Afternoon, Pete. Looks like you're having fun. It's all good fun. Have you got the TT experiences? Have you got? I will do next year. Didn't get it sorted this this year because of obvious, obvious things. But um, we'll definitely do a package next year. And uh, it's an experience, even if you don't. I just thought I saw you, Pete. Michael Pitt, where are you? Hello. Michael Pitt, we've got a revhead that's seen us. He's going to get a free drink. Robbo's going to buy him a free oh, drink. No, <laughs> He'll be tell all his friends, we'll have it on camera, that he got a drink out of a Yorkshireman. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ed. Yeah, we're, oh, back, we're back. back. Christ, Tech back. guy saved it, I'll get my job back. Oh, yeah, I'll let you off. I'll buy him a drink now. Stunning place. Enjoy Andrew Roy. It is a fantastic place. Lovely scenery. Great roads. Police are a bit punchy, though. They don't mess about. They said, as we were, as we were sat on the the uh, what you call it the edge of the track at Cragney Bar they said the marshals come along first they say if you drop anything on the track don't try and get it just make it aware like if you have a bit of paper or a cup blows onto the track just tell them don't don't jump out and get it because you get arrested instantly and get chucked into prison they don't mess about here ten thousand pound fines and god knows what but they're going to do it because it's very dangerous Donna Taylor have fun thank you looks like it's busy there's loads of people all just drifting around because uh, the bloody rain has started again it's not on but 
it's going to be good for tomorrow, I think. What is it tomorrow? Is it Saturday tomorrow? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So we got one today, one more day left. They were talking about extending it to Sunday, but I don't think they will. Um, I just went into Rutter's van, invited us up for to buy a cup of tea from him. Tight bugger, only joking, Michael. Um, and he said there's no way it's going to be run on Sunday because all the marshals go home, this and that, whatever. So um, that's it. It finishes tomorrow. So here we go. Anything else to tell us? Any, how long are you there for? I'm here till Peter Noto. We're here till next, officially Thursday, but if the weather's crap next week, I'll be going home Tuesday. Um, Jason will be on the ferry, so I'm not sure whether it can take the weight. But um, it'll, be, it'll be a 10 hour crossing instead of a four hour crossing. Hey, watch it. Get out, you tart. <laughs> Look, he eats anything, he even <laughs> licks a rabbit. Won't go into that. All right, how long are you there for, Peter Noto? Yes, so that's that. 37 people watching, it's gone down, they're getting bored now, so I'm going to say goodbye. My seat's going to be soaked. Oh, your seat's going to be yeah, soaked? My seat's going to be yeah. soaked. Why, have you wet yourself? <laughs> oh, no, you see, it's, it's an absorbent seat, isn't it? It is, well, it's like a Ducati suede, whatever it is, oh, some yeah. fancy Italian cow That's skin. No yeah, uh, yeah um, it just soaks up water. No good. Yeah. Right, well, we won't be raffling that one then, will we? <laughs> is, there a, is there a pound buyer turnstile on the entrance still in Douglas? I don't know. Whoever said that, Mike Trower, bye, have fun. Cheers, everybody. Any more questions, any more technical questions? We have Elaine, who's got the radio going in her, the TT radio going continuously in her ear. She's going away because she doesn't want to be on camera. Any last words, Elaine? No. <laughs> oh, you can't say that on camera. I didn't realise you were Russian. All her, all her words end with off. Hey. Um, no worse. Have fun, Luke Muir. Right, that's it. I'm going. As soon as some, something happens, so long as my phone's not flat, I'll, uh, I'll make something interesting and fun and uh, let you know. But in the meantime, it's over and out. Pete Savage and team, Rev Eds, News at 10. Bonjour.